everyone. Do you know what is quantity theory of money? No. You don't know? No. Okay. So today we will learn about quantity theory of money. So let's get started. Quantity theory of money states that money supply and price level in an economy are in direct proportion to one another. When there is a change in money supply, there is a proportional change in price level and vice versa. It is supported and calculated by efficient equation of quantity theory of money. The nominal interest rate is the opportunity cost of holding wealth in the form of money instead of other asset. So it follows that quantity of money demanded depends inversely on nominal interest rate. So the higher nominal interest rate, the lower the quantity of money demanded. And the lower nominal interest rate, the higher quantity of money demanded. By 2018, inflation was an estimate to 8,000%. It's difficult to say what the rate is now, but Bloomberg's Venezuelan Cafe Conflation Index, based on the price of a cup of coffee, suggests it is now about 380,000%. The Venezuelan crisis, however, just got worse as the oil pricing continued to fall, compounded by other factors that reduced Venezuelan oil output. International investors began looking elsewhere, driving the value of the Bolivar even lower. Then, the global price of oil dropped. Foreign demand for the Bolivar to buy Venezuelan oil crashed. As the currency's value fell, the cost of imported goods rose. The Venezuelan economy went into crisis. <laughs> 